Hi everyone! This video is going to be about sharp and even lips. You know, when applying traditional lipstick, there is not really that sharp defined line around your lips. It's this something, but traditional lipsticks, they're not, um, they're not that sharp on the edges, especially when they're not new anymore. And I mean, no one's lips are completely, perfectly symmetrical. If your lips are quite off, like I feel like mine are, um, it's not easy to stain the lines of your lips and make it look like it's, it's supposed to be like that. So how do you define your own lip border in a better way? Obviously using makeup. So when using traditional lipstick, um, it's a lot easier to use a lip liner with that. It, it doesn't even matter what order you go in, um, whether it's first a lip liner and then fill it in with your lipstick or first apply your lipstick and then put your lip liner all over there. As long as like the color is quite similar, it's usually better to go with a darker lip liner than your lipstick color than a lighter if you have the option. That's just the natural way that things happen because um, your lips, they they are quite forward and things that are quite forward, they're, they're usually lighter and then the edges of your lips, they are way more back and then it's just, it's more natural to have them darker. Make sure that the lip liner that you're using, that it's sharp. Um, a lot of them are pencils or things that you, like you've got to turn it to come up. Um, just make sure that it's it's really sharp, that you can get a defined line there. If it's just this really thick liner, it's just, it, it's going to do the exact same as your lipstick, you know? You want it to be precise, defined. Usually when you're out um, or you're eating or drinking things, um, the, the inside of your lips is where the lipstick's going to disappear more easily just because... I mean, that's where everything touches, you know, your food, your glass, everything. So the outer parts do not really touch that much, usually. It should be okay to just apply your lip liner just once and then go in with your lipstick whenever that's necessary just because the outer lines are always going to be there through eating, through drinking, through whatever you might be doing in life then the problem is that it's sometimes not even that sharp anymore you know um, whenever your lip liner isn't that sharp or it's not that good or I mean you messed up you know it happens in life that is when there's another trick that you can use just uh, take a small brush and a little bit of your foundation the exact foundation that you're you're wearing that day and just apply that in in light strokes not don't use too much foundation because it's just going to smear all over. But just try to define the contour, try to define the line, try to define the lip. When you're using concealer to do this, that's another possibility to do that instead of your foundation as a concealer. Just be careful with that, you know. Um, our concealers tend to be a lot lighter than our foundations just to brighten up things. Um, and in that case, you don't want to like smear it all over and then have colored lips and then have this white border around it, you know? It's easier to do if you have this mirror that's magnifying or just a mirror that's really close to your mouth. Um, it's, like it's, it's easier to draw things in and then you might want to have a mirror that's a little far, further back just to see whether um, your lips are kind of symmetrical, you know? It's, it's not always that easy to see that in it mirror that's super close but when you see the bigger picture you can usually tell like oh I should do this side more or this side or let me just correct something here that's it for lips I hope you guys enjoyed it um thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time bye